Wrexham are a team with a documentary about them. Arsenal are also a team with a documentary about them. And that means that they are similar footballing levels. With the Gunners currently top of the Premier League, that same financial power and success is not there for Wrexham. Well, today we're going to be changing that because we are giving a non-league side on FIFA 23 unlimited money to see what they end up doing with it and whether it can garner success in England and maybe even in Europe too. This man here, who is definitely not allowed within 20 yards of any school whatsoever is gonna take them to glory. We've slapped them into League 2 which is where we're gonna be starting things and we're gonna try and sign some of the best players in the world and see whether they can drag this team to victory. If we go over here to the finances we've got three million pounds which to be fair for a non-league side is pretty decent but we need to we, we need to bump this up a little bit. But as you can see by simply investing in the pyramid scheme that I run we've now got three billion pounds in the bank account. 57 million I think in wages as well. We're going in, right, with Killian and Mbappe. Mbappe, 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 da. Killy, Killy, Killy. PSG forward. He notably loves the money. And we can offer you big, big cash, all right? If you just join the club. He's not willing to relocate. He's not willing to leave Paris for Wrexham. There's, they're the same place. They're so, they're so similar. Well, we'll come back to Killian later down the line. Instead, we're gonna go in for his teammate, Lionel Messi. This absolute weapon of a man has somehow managed to convince the PSG manager to, to hop on down. It's because he knows we can afford the growth hormones. We're gonna do a player swap, all right? PSG, you need some steel, all right? You need some players with some character. You need a center back. And I have got for you Ben Toza and offer a transfer fee I'll give you a mil see he already okay that's that's minus one bit what's going on here that's minus 1.2 billion I'm just gonna submit the trade let's see what they, they want 47 mil they don't want Ben Toza what do you what do you mean you don't want Ben they want 47 mil look listen PSG just have it man we've got all the money in the world we've got Lionel Messi chilling down here in league two a non-league football club might be about to sign the greatest of all time. He only wants 165. Can I just say, this is like, why is he accepting this, Leo? Whoever this guy is, whoever this agent is right here, fleecing him, he's an idiot. You can never trust a bold agent, I'm telling you for facts. If you can't even look after your own head of hair, how can you look after another footballer? We'll give you 200 grand a week, sunshine. I'm not allowed to edit that, so that's not ideal. We're apparently paying a minus 1.3 billion signing on feed they what he's not happy with it would you? it was probably it was probably the fact that i asked them to give me 1.3 billion pounds actually as a signing but Big Ron is still playing for Manchester United in this save. He hasn't made the move over to Al Nazar and he's interested in joining. That's because honestly, on paper, Wrexham squad's probably better than Al Nazar's, I'm not gonna lie. We've negotiated a cheeky 31 million pounds here for Cristiano Ronaldo. Probably not the greatest deal. Within three weeks of living in Wales, he's doing a second interview with Piers Morgan. So let me start with 150K and you can have 250K if you really want Ron. We've got some seriously good players we've made some bids for. You'll We'll see them in a second. But next up, Trent Alexander Arnold of Liverpool. I can't like Jurgen Klopp's looking around, looking at the facilities. We've got like three members of staff at the whole club. The physio also cleans up the place and is the dinner lady as well. It's a bit of a baptism of fire compared to what he's used to at Anfield. Even that vote is from 1983. Uh, look at this. We've got Trent Alexander Arnold on the way in. We've got Alison Haaland. The final man we're gonna make a bid for here is Robert Lewandowski. It would be rude not to, boys. We're sponsored by TikTok. This is what he does, bro. He can play on the weekend, then go and do sponsorship activations with them all week, doing horrible dance moves. This is a great social media decision as well. We're gonna do some negotiating here. Sam Dolby, mate, in a bit. You're going Barcelona, fam. Okay, never mind. They want 110. That's fine. We've got all the money in the world. We've got unlimited money. 100 mil is nothing. We're gonna delegate the wages. I'll offer the man like 200K or something. I don't know what he's on right now. Shelbourne have expressed an interest in a guy called Christian Dribble. No, it's not even Dribble. I, I am the one who dribbles, I can't read. Right, De Jong is joining the club. Frankie De Jong is coming in from Barcelona. Mate, if he didn't wanna join Manchester United, imagine him walking in and seeing Rex. I mean, the place looks pretty all right. I can guarantee we bought a treadmill for that sign. 
shining. We didn't have one originally. The punching bag in the back, that's new. I had to buy it on Amazon when we realized he was joining the club. What I will say is Bootleg has absolutely delighted at this purchase. How have we frauded this one then, boys? Where did they get these screens from? They just don't have that at Wrexham. He's just a little bit better than Lee, I would argue. Trent Alexander-Arnold joins the club as well. We got an excellent deal. We got Erling Haaland as well. He's another big name on campus. Honestly, his CPU is more technologically advanced than anything we have at the club already. But he's welcomed in by De Jong and Alisson. Pretty sure he just had black hands just then. And Lewandowski enters through the doors of Wrexham as well. Look at him. He's practically buzzing to embarrass his young children online already. Here is how the squad is looking so far. I'm not going to completely re-alter the whole team for this first season because realistically with the signings we've made already we should get out of League 2 pretty easily. Because we've already got two strikers that does mean Cristiano Ronaldo is relegated to the bench but he's been used to that all season so it's not much of a problem. All right, li listen, we're going to sim to January, okay? We're going to see how this squad does for the first half of the year. If we need further reinforcements then we've still got quite a lot of money in the bank. Two billion in total. All right, lads, thankfully, even though there's been a few scares, we are top of the table come the halfway stage of the league campaign. Now, obviously, the top three as well get automatically promoted in League Two. We're like 18 points clear of the playoffs. We're definitely going to go up. I thought we were genuinely not going to be top of the table, and I could only imagine that would have been because of this custody battler of a manager. But thankfully, it is okay. We are going to be fine. So I'm just going to sim to the end of the season, see how we do. Lads, I may have accidentally given Cristiano Ronaldo a minus two billion pound signing on bonus. I... Uh, it's a bit of, look, I, I don't know how I'm going to give people new contracts because the game keeps glitching out. What is wrong with it? I don't understand what's wrong with this game. I keep offering people new contracts and they don't want an extension. What? Who, who signs a contract but the, the length of the contract stays the same? When has that ever happened in football? You must be absolutely out of your mind. Alison, you're getting 250k a week. I hope you're happy with that sunshine. No, you're not even old. What do you mean, no extension? Oh, you, you lot, are, you, you're, you're being pains in the arse, boys. All right, look, listen, here's, here's how things stand, all right? As you can see, we've blitzed League 2, all right? As you would expect. 103 points, the goals for didn't even fit on the table in the last screen. We're Gucci, yeah? We've gone up. It's all calm. Let's check the other ones. The FA Cup, what was that? Oh my God, we won the FA Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are a non-league team, if you get unlimited money, Money. Straight off the bat, you're winning the FA Cup. We beat Man U in round five as well. Sensational stuff. The Carabao Cup, we, we didn't win. We, we went out in the quarters to Arsenal. If, if we did not win the Papa John's Trophy, all right, where the only other teams in the competition are like Cheltenham Town and Dulwich Hamlet under 23s, then we're having serious words. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we go again. We're ending at season number one here. The board are happy. I've got an extras role in the next version of Dead and I'm living my best life, okay? It's sensational. It's time for League One. We've lost some of our good players because they wouldn't sign a contract extension. We might have lost Robert Lewandowski, but there is a new big striker in town. Mbappe, 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 da. Kylian Mbappe is a Wrexham footballer, okay? He does own 75% of the club, the entire rights to Deadpool, 20% of Wales, and 50% of my body, but he is through the door. 190 million pounds, the endless amounts of money that we're able to spend continue to keep rising and he is a 94 overall why have we got a dming goal why have we played the first like four games of the season we don't have a goal how do we how's that happened then <laughs> what's this what is this foolishness are you taking the piss? We don't have a single goalkeeper in this club. It's all right, lads. Thankfully, I know one that just became a free agent. Lads, we're in the Europa League. I didn't even clock this, you know. We won the FA Cup, of course, in our first season. So we're going to have to see how we do in that. We're going to have a fixture every 20 minutes at this rate this season. That tastes like promotion. Yeah. We dominated League One just like we dominated League Two. And now we're going to be up into the second tier for next season. We didn't win any of the cup competitions, but of course we were in 
in the Europa League. We went out in the round of 16 to Juventus. To me, that's not even that bad. Plus, they just got a points deduction, so I think I win. By the way, Haaland scored 29 goals in 45 in League One. To put that into perspective, Haaland's already scored like 23 in the league this season, about the same amount of games. Yeah, nah, the kid's ridiculous, in game and in real life. Look, we're into the championship now. We've got to make some more improvements to the squad. We've splashed out even more money on a left back by the name of Teo Hernandez. The Milan man comes in. He's like 89 rated. It's outrageous. And one final signing as well for this season. The main man. The TikTok heart drop. It's Jude Bellingham coming through the Wrexham doors. Look, listen, I've seen the YouTube analytics. We're looking at 0.01% female audience. I feel like we're going to be up in that with the signing of Jude here. And obviously strengthening a lot in midfield as well. Now, we don't have Europe to worry about this time around. It's just a clean season in the championship. There's still a couple of Wrexham non-league players in the starting 11. But I'm hoping the rest of the squad can bring them up and take them to the promised land. We've drawn 2-2 two -two with Luton. Listen, lads, we've been here before. You all know what's happened. We've absolutely battered the championship as well. Scoring 104 points in 46 games. We are going up as champions. Because this man and his questionable human rights record have got Wrexham to the Premier League. All it took was around about £3 billion being spent. As you can see, we've still got 475 mil left in the tank for our Premier League campaign. But we'll probably need to make a couple more signings and we'll see whether we can win the Prem too. This time it was Kylian Mbappe as the top scorer and this guy's gone crazy. He's 95 rated now. Haaland and De Jong are 94. Trent is 93. It's a beautiful time to be alive. Right, well, we've signed Alisson for the third time in this video. We've done what Chelsea couldn't and signed Jules Koundé from Barcelona. And Declan Rice links up with his England midfield partner Jude Bellingham at the club to provide a little bit of leadership here at Wrexham. We might have extravagant players, extravagant haircuts, but we need that steely determined that he offers and this squad is looking very balanced all round we could challenge for the title here ladies and gentlemen it's the end of our final season here we've made it to the promised land we're in the premier league and there is just one game of this season left to go now going into the final day 37 games played chelsea are currently top on 82 points it's ourselves in second just one point behind but with better goal difference on 81 and we face off against the manchester City who were in third on the final day also on 81 points if we win here and Chelsea drop points we will win the Premier League with a non-league side with unlimited money here we go boys our state-of-the-art Wrexham Stadium is about to see its biggest game ever our star-studded lineup walks out onto the pitch Erling Haaland's got his own TIFO already and we are ready to go it's Wrexham v Manchester City for all of the marbles now I'll be I'll be open and honest with you lads can't lie i've not played fifa consistently for about two years now phil foden here still playing for manchester city but the one man who is just a random regen has brought the ball off him what a hero teo hernandez it's a ball in oh we're trying to nod it down but it's cleared by man city I saw Cedo might be the guy, you know. I don't know who he is, but sign him in it. That's what I've learned today. It's Trent Alexander Arnold cutting in. Here's Erling Haaland. There's a man in the middle. Oh, it's cleared away again. Listen, we're, I'm telling you now, yeah, the boys are going to do it for Rex. No, let me get it clear now through Trent Alexander Arnold, who can burst into space. Look at him go. What a man. This is Mbappe. Oh, come on. That was such an easy pass. It's still with us, though. Jude Bellingham. You can lay it off here to Teo Hernandez. Back to Bellingham again. He's into the center. It's blocked away. Lads, I'm shit at FIFA. I've, I've come to the realization. I, I, I ain't making it, bro. It's nil-nil here at the break. As I said, a win. I mean, a draw could be enough, to be fair, if Chelsea lose their game. They're drawing as well to Everton. Lads, come on. We've got to take this opportunity. And we're going to try here with Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's out wide. I've tried crossing in this game. It's not really worked. But that ball to Mbappe was sensational. What a save from Edison. This guy's unstoppable. All right, look at this counter-attack. Haaland's through. I see the sweaty over to Mbappe. And that's the goal. It's 1-0 here, ladies and gentlemen. Look, listen, I know. <clears throat> the square, don't watch that. 
editor can just edit it so it was a 40 yard screamer, you get me? No, I don't think I will. Ladies and gentlemen, we're leading here against Manchester City. Look, City fans, I don't have any sympathy. This is just what you did in real life. De Bruyne has spread the play here to Cancelo and it's up to the source to go in. No, oh my God. He what a save from Alisson. I never doubted you, pal. At no point did I think that was going in. Don't worry about it. The source, he, he didn't have much defensive source there. I'm gonna be honest with you. Get that one away. Alison, big man. I just, that, that, how, how did you save the last one and then give that away, son? Oh no, oh no, boys. It's all falling apart, the ball in. We don't get it clear. We gotta go attacking here, I can't lie, lad. We're not gonna do it with passes like that, I can't lie. Oh, De Declan Rice might actually be the worst footballer in this entire team. And one of them's only here because his name is Sauce. I need them to combine together. Rice and Sauce is a sensational partnership. So why has it not worked so far? Oh, Mbappe's got the run of Haaland. It's Erling Haaland through and it's Erling Haaland scoring. What a man, two goals to one. With 20 minutes to go, we might be winning the league again, boys. Kylian Mbappe picks it up, lovely turn, and the ball through is perfect. Haaland ain't missing chances like that, mate. Get him in your fantasy football team, lads, because he's scored again. Haaland, he's got Teo Hernandez here to wrap it up, and Teo does the business. We've got a score line update elsewhere. Alex Scott, yo, listen. Put me out of my misery. If it's Chelsea scoring, then I'm jumping off the edge of the stadium. Teo Hernandez is full of joy right now. It's 3-1. We're not going to get an update on the other game. Sensational. Lads, what if after all this Chelsea win and I have to look at Todd Bowley lift the Premier League title? He, he doesn't even know what that is. He thinks this is the World Series. Oh, that's offside, mate. That's, mi that's miles off. Crunching ch it's all right, it's just the yellow. It's just the yellow. The referee thinks that Jude Bellingham's attractive as well. That's the only reason he's not giving him a red there. City need two late goals here to have any, well, they need three actually, because they need to beat us. I don't think it's going to happen. Alisson's plucked that one out of the air. That one there was a violation. Oh, no, Teo Hernandez has absolutely rinsed somebody there. He's brought the root. No, okay, he should have stopped. He should have stopped with the twist. We got the win in the bag. We're in injury time. It's just a matter of moments till we find out whether we've won the league. Great diff- Okay, Skriniar's given that one away. Okay, we've conceded. Not ideal. Defending wasn't great, but ladies and gentlemen, are we Premier League champions? The champions. I think I heard the commentator say it. We have indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, we've won the Premier League on the final day in the most dramatic of circumstances. We beat Man City, our title rivals. Chelsea must have dropped points elsewhere. And this Wrexham side has gone from non-league to Premier League title winners. With, uh, with barely any investment whatsoever. And as the Premier League trophy waits there to be lifted, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Feel free to slap a like on it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and you did enjoy the video. You can also follow me on social media. It is at the official FNG on Twitter and on Insta. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourself and goodbye.